It's the first Independence Day celebrations without Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe's former president in charge. The military forced him to resign in November. The new leader, Emerson Manangagwa, lights the independence flame, which was first lit 38 years ago when Zimbabwe gained independence from Britain in 1980. After years of alleged government corruption and mismanagement under Mugabe's rule, Manangagwa is under pressure to end crippling foreign currency shortages and create jobs. We are well aware of the great hardships caused by the lack of availability of cash. This is a painful and pregnant issue for so many individuals and families across the country. And a problem we are working tirelessly to resolve. Munangagwa is pushing for more direct foreign investment to revive the economy. Some people warn that will not necessarily create jobs. We need to have you know, a targeted approach towards it because it's not just going to trickle down once the economy starts growing. It must already be factored in to everything that happens in the country. And of course then it's not only government's responsibility for job creation, you've got to bring in the private sector, you've got to bring in the workers. Another challenge for Manangago's administration is organizing free, fair and credible elections later this year. The main opposition leader, Nelson Chamisa, attended the independent celebrations. When Mugabe was in charge, opposition parties boycotted the event in protest. Some political analysts say this is a positive development. The election will test the country's electoral system after complaints of rigging in previous years. If the polls are credible, some in the international community say they'll consider investing in Zimbabwe again. The president's more immediate concern is managing people's expectations and frustrations. Teachers are threatening to strike if their pay and working conditions don't improve. Civil servants say they may do the same. Nurses in public hospitals have been striking for days. Manangago's response was to fire all the nurses who refused to report for duty. A move that puts more people out of work in a country with one of the highest unemployment rates in the world. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.